Hello, users of the World Wide Web. It is me, yours truly, Joe Osborne, and it is Tuesday. That means it is time for another edition of G and B Quickies. I am here with two of my favorite bets for the NBA today. Then Ian and Ninja will be along with their best bets for the day. So let's get right into the action where we're going to start things off in Charlotte, where we have the Spurs in town to take on the Hornets. Bzzz. I like the full game under for this one. Here's why. These have been two of the worst shooting teams in the NBA over the last 10 games, with them ranking 30th and 27th in effective field goal percentage. Each ranks in the bottom third in points per 100 possessions in this span, which lines up fantastically with the teams ranking 29th and 23rd in pace in this span. We get some defensive stats to back up the bet too with the Horny Hornets ranking first in opponent three point percentage over the last 10, with the third best opponent free throw rate. The Spurs are nothing special on defense, but they're forcing opponents to hold the ball long into the shot clock, resulting in allowing the fifth fewest shot attempts per game over the last 10. For all these reasons, I think we got a great recipe for an under tonight in Charlotte. Next up, we're going to the West Coast to Sacramento. We have the Wizards in town. First quarter bet, I like the Wizards to cover the first quarter spread. Let's get into it. These teams have been getting off to much different starts recently, with the Wizards at fourth and first key point margin over the last 10 games and the Kings at 21st. Sacramento has had some atrocious starts on offense where they rank 26 in effective field goal percentage over the 10 game sample size. It's a different story for the Wiz who've been lighting it up from three point land where they rank fifth in first quarter three point percentage in this span. They also have a better first Q free throw rate and rank first in first Q opponent turnover percentage. So give me Washington to cover the number in the fourth quarter tonight in Sacramento. Okay guys, that is it for me. But as always, keep chasing that paper. Hello, yes, I have two college basketball bets for tonight. There are a lot of big games, a lot of a little bit more important games, but I couldn't find anything I liked in those. So as always, I'm going to go with a little bit more of the smaller conference plays here. I'm going to start with Ball State to cover the spread at home against Central Michigan. And here is why. Huge perimeter advantage for Ball State. They are 13th in three-point shot rate. Central Michigan, though, are 351st. That is third last in opponent three-point field goal percentage. 35.5% of points scored against them come from beyond the arc, which is the 45th highest percentage in the country. Ball State also simply has one of the best defensive teams in the country. They're 14th in defensive efficiency, 26th in opponent floor percentage, and also they allow the 26th fewest points per game. And I already mentioned how important the three ball will be for Ball State, but it's important to note that their three point field goal percentage goes up 7.8% when they're playing at home. They also have a scoring margin of plus 9.2 on their home court, while Central Michigan is losing by an average of 9.9 .9 points when they play on the road, mostly due to the fact that they're scoring 14.2 fewer points on the road. It's gonna to be tough for them to improve on that tonight when they're facing a top defensive team in Ball State. Give me the Cardinals laying seven tonight. Then moving on, my favorite kind of bet in college basketball is going is the under. So I'm going to take the under tonight in Maine and Hartford. You guys know the drill by now. For betting on a total, we're going to look at pace of play. Maine, 320th in field goal attempts per game. Hartford, 269th. Maine, 317th in possessions per game. Hartford, 227th. That tells us pretty clearly that both teams play a pretty slow pace. Also, both teams like shooting the long ball. Maine is 54th in three-point shot rate, while Hartford is 113th. Now, this might make you think that more points will be scored since they'll be shooting a lot of three-pointers, but just hang on your horses on that one because Hartford is second in the entire country, an opponent three-point field goal percentage. Maine is pretty good in this category as well, 131st in opponent three-point field goal percentage. Now this game is an under better's dream. We always want bad offenses and good defenses if we're betting on an under, and that's exactly what we have here. Let's look at floor percentage to explain that fact because which a floor percentage is of course 
the percentage of possessions that result in at least one point being scored. Maine, 342nd in floor percentage. Hartford, 326th. While on the defensive side of things, Maine is 208th in opponent floor percentage, and Hartford is 96th and opponent floor percentage. So give me the under in this matchup. So there you go, those are my two college basketball bets for tonight. Up next, we got Ninja with a play in the world of soccer. Yeah, no Champions League this week, no Europa League, but uh, we do have some domestic cup games, notably in England where we've got three today. Chelsea, Liverpool, uh, Reading, Sheffield United, and uh, the one I'm gonna look at, West Brom, Newcastle and I gotta say there's good value on the home team in this one that's why I'm going with West Brom plus 145 in the three-way money line. If you've watched Newcastle you know this team is pathetic in attack and I'm air quoting attack here because that's being generous to this team. Fewest goals in the Premier League and needed replays to get by lesser opposition in their first two FA Cup rounds because they just couldn't do enough. West Brom not really lesser opposition though is it? This team is top of the table in the championship, one point up on Leeds, six points clear of the playoff positions in the table down there. They are the top scoring team in the league, best goal differential in the league. They've already beaten a Premier League team in the FA Cup, eliminating West Ham one zip in London, thanks to a goal from Connor Townsend. And I just wonder where this competition ranks in the Newcastle priority list. Currently, this team is 14th in the Premier League, five points up on the relegation spots, but considering their current form, a relegation fight is coming. Three draws and two losses in their last five games, and just two wins since December 21st in the Premier League. Not good enough. Newcastle is in all sorts of trouble. I like the potential here for a West Brom win at plus 145. There you have it, couple picks from Joe Osborne, couple picks from Ian McMillan, and an FA Cup bet from myself. Whatever you folks do with your wagers, best of luck today. And don't forget to join us tomorrow, Wednesday, on YouTube for the live show, noon in the east, nine in the west. Thanks for watching. Good luck.